the 243rd birthday of the United States Army. What's up friends, I'm US Army veteran Christopher Chaos and if you're watching this video on the day it came out, well then today is the 243rd birthday of the United States Army. But if you are watching this at a later date and time, then the US Army's birthday is June 14th. So for this video in honor of the birthday for the United States Army, I thought I'd point out maybe some key events that happened throughout history in the Army, do some comparisons comparing back in the day in the Army compared to now, as well as maybe point out a few facts here and there. I will be jumping around in the timeline for the US Army history, so please don't expect this video to be pointing out every single historical moment in the United States Army history. But we are gonna go back to when the United States Army was first created. So before the Army even existed, there were just these militias in different areas that didn't even really have any kind of real structure to them. But they knew they needed to create some kind of structure to this thing they had going on, so they created the Continental Army. And that was on June 14th, 1775. And then the very next day, they appointed their first commander, which was George Washington. Now, back in 1907, the Army actually had their own aviation unit of fixed-wing aircrafts or airplanes. And those units existed until 1947, when those units from the Army, as well as some units from the Navy and the Marines, combined to create the United States Air Force. It was in 1940 that they created the draft. So the draft would place men into these positions that were vacant or empty to be able to fill these slots for combat for wars that were happening at the time. But in 1973, they got rid of the draft. However, they do still have the selective service, which requires men between the age of 18 and 25 to enroll in. And that is done in place in case they did ever have to bring back the draft. Back in 1968, only 1% of the United States Army was made up of women, whereas today, approximately 13% of the United States Army is made up of women. Back in 1949, an individual fresh into training, into basic training, was expected to make approximately $75 a month, where a soldier in today's Army at the very lowest rank can expect to make approximately $1,500 per month. Now, of course, that is due to inflation, though. Because back in 1949, the minimum wage was 40 cents an hour, and you could probably buy a brand new car for less than $2,000. Out of 45 U.S. presidents, 31 of them have served in the United States military, with 24 of those being in the United States Army or state militias, as back in the day, the state militias were kind of like today's National Guard. Currently, the United States Army has the most Medal of Honor recipients with over 2,400. Now the United States Army has several installations and if you were to take all those installations and combine them together, they would roughly make up about 24,000 square miles. And that is larger than the state of Hawaii and Massachusetts combined. Now if you were to take all of the US Army soldiers currently serving today and place them into their very own city, that city would become the 10th largest city in the United States. The United States Army is also the second largest employer with the first being Walmart. It's pretty crazy to think that there are more Walmart employees than there are soldiers in the United States Army. All right, so there you go. Those are just some fun facts, a little bit of history about the United States Army on their 243rd birthday. If you know of some fun facts from the United States Army or from history or whatever, and you want to leave those down in the comments, please feel free to do so. Maybe some of us browsing through the comments will learn something new. Maybe I'll learn something new. Who knows? And for those of you currently serving in the Army or my fellow veterans, I would like to know maybe what's something that maybe stands out to you from changes that have occurred while you have served in the United States Army. For me, the biggest thing that always kind of stands out is when we switched from the soft caps to the black beret. It was kind of crazy going from those soft caps to the black beret. Nobody really knew how to wear the black beret and there wasn't any at the clothing sales to buy some. So if someone lost one, they wouldn't be able to go back to the soft cap. Usually the units would make them wear Kevlar, at least my unit made us do that. But it was kind of a crazy transition. Uh, later, just after I got out of the army, they went back to the soft caps and now they only wear the black berets for the dress uniforms. But back when I was in the army, for the majority of the time I was in the army, we wore the black beret all the time. So there you go. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, just hit that thumbs up button like really hard. I'll, I'll know which ones were angrily pressed. If you got some time to kill and you wanna check out some more of my videos, here's a couple right over there. If you're new to this channel and you want to make sure to catch my new content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and be awesome and hit that little bell icon to receive notifications if it works. Thanks for watching. I'm Christopher Chaos and I will see you next time. See ya.